Tom from What Culture here with professional wrestler Liam Slater. How you doing, Tom? Hello. Man? Nice. How are you doing? You? I'm good, thanks, man. I was always switching go, around. Man. I go, look, yeah, yeah, no one on. noticed. Um, now, obviously, I'm currently training to be a pro wrestler. Get my ass kicked a couple of times a week, but always walk away feeling like it's one of the most rewarding things I've right ever now. done. Obviously, you, you've been down that path. Yeah. You know what it's like. So I just wanted to get your experiences. How was it for you? Um, similar, in a way. For me, um, it was never something where I went, yeah, I'm going to be a pro wrestler, but I'm going to do it, because I just didn't think it was possible. Um, back when I was about 13, I went to Butlins, they had the, the Butlins show on, so it was All Star that was running that. I picked up a, um, one of the programmes and back it out of school, and I was like, right, okay, when I'm old enough, I'll go across there. And it turns out, like, I'd lost that and didn't. You know, I didn't even realise it still existed, um, which is a shame really, but anyway, sidetracked. I was in college, um, Fighting Spirit magazine was like a magazine that I got. I remember Fighting Spirit, man. I was still going, isn't Yeah, it? it's still going, it's still a good magazine. Um, but they had a advertisement for a show in Wakefield. At the bottom of that, it said, "Oh, we've got an academy." I just started a um, just started a part time job. My girlfriend had just started driving, um, so I was like, "I've got a way of getting there. I've got money. I'm gonna go and give it a go." Um, so I, I contacted him. I was like, "Oh, I want to come and do it. Is there anything that I need?" Or like, so I was like, "Quick, uh, insurance." He's like, "No, just come along." And I was like, "There you go. Okay, cool. Yeah, well, yeah. I'll come along." So I went along, and then was just fell in love with it really like it wasn't the greatest place to start you know it wasn't like um it, it wasn't like a performance center or anything like that it was a warehouse that had two rings in it it was freezing much yeah. like this building you're in today <laughs> yeah. um but yeah and that's that's how i got started and from there i think i was fortunate enough that when i was training there we had people like rampage brown come in on a weekly basis just when he left the wwe um, we had uh, Chris Travis, who unfortunately isn't with us anymore, but he was training there on yeah. a weekly basis. Prince Amin as well, like he's oh, well. but he's, he's, he's kind of everything. <laughs> he's very knowledgeable. Yeah. Um, so we had a really good group of guys, and uh, that's that's where I started from. That's amazing. Well, what about the actual training itself? Because I mean, especially for me, I think there is a, a, a time when you're like, can I actually do this? Because it's so hard, and you, it's the mental game that, that, that kicks in. Did you have that? Because I know a lot of people take to it maybe a lot easier than I did. Um, I was quite fortunate that like I picked stuff up pretty quickly, physically. Um, I mean, you go through like um, ups and downs. So I picked stuff up, but then I hit like a plateau where I was like, right, yeah, where am I going from here? Then it all kicked in again, and I was like, oh, cool. So you you're going ups and downs. It's never going to be a smooth path up, but it's like anything. You never have that smooth path up. For me, I hit a point where not picking myself up, but I got to a point where I was like. Mm -hmm the better guys at the training place I was like man I, I know I've got more potential than this so for me it was a case of like I found uh, the NGW school where we had El Aguero and Nathan yeah. Cruz training on a weekly basis so I made the trip across there every week to start going there and then I was fortunate enough that Marty Jones started training and again that was a case of once I felt like I'd hit a point I found more training but it's a case of if you're in somewhere like you, where you are we all snow like you've got that upper echelon so you've just got to keep pushing through and be persistent because something might come up where you go I don't really understand that but three weeks later they'll say something else and bang that's where it all clicks yeah. I think something else you've mentioned as well like you obviously been trained by a lot of different guys oh, yeah. and that's something they really push at Al's nose place as well it's like it's better to be taught by loads and then you take a little bit from everyone and then you create your own style did you find that too without a doubt I, like, I was super fortunate like I was saying when I was at uh, place in Wayfield like I had so much influence from all these top guys um, at a very um, young point in my journey as such. I don't really like calling it a career because you know, for me it's a journey, it's, a, it's yeah, of course, something that yeah. I enjoy doing I, and get money out of it, so like, it's, it's win-win. But it is a journey, so at the start of my journey I had all these influences. Then like, I had Liguero and Nathan Cruz who was like, such a different styles, And then obviously Mark Jones is a completely different style. And that for me came at a point where I was pretty well established as a wrestler in terms of people who started to know, especially in the West Yorkshire area. Um, but we, we marked the influence from him and just a completely different style. The way I said it, it was like, it was like knowing French, but then learning Spanish. The similar languages, but there's differences between that's really them. Right to put it, yeah. Yeah, and that's it's what Marty's training is like. It's that old school British style, which I think not lacks by any means, but it's not taught as much. It's like he knows wrestling. For a lot when I first started, like that my first trainer, he was taught by not 
great performer. Like he was a good guy. Um, but a lot of the stuff that he knew was just from TV. Whereas Marty knows it. So it's like he'll tell you Inside something. And out, yeah. yeah. And it's like, oh, that makes sense. That's why I struggled doing it, and now I do like monkey yeah. flips and stuff like that. It's like, just do it like this, and then suddenly it becomes ten times easier. That's the best thing when it clicks. Yeah. Because somebody explains to you just a little tiny thing. Yeah. I had that with flip bumps, and I was like, try this, and someone's like, a light bulb just went off, and yeah, that's yeah. when that amazing feeling comes. It just gives you motivation for like at least four weeks to go for no matter what happens yeah, yeah. that keep going right, forward no. awesome yeah. excellent well look man thank you so much for joining me today thank you, a, a genuinely a genuinely incredible story like, you put a lot of work you put thank a lot of time in now well, you that, that's WCW. It. yeah that's it and like I've, I've still got a long way to go I'm still learning so for me to be in this environment tagging with someone like Johnny Moss like can't ask for it uh, uh, cool. just gotta keep learning that's it man no matter what I will delete, delete, delete. W.